let's go question number one function f and g are defined as fx equals to 1 minus 2x and then gx equals to x square minus 3 question a determine whether g inverse is a function or not so if you want to know it's a function or not so first of all they're asking for g inverse correct so we want to find out if there is an inverse or not because now we have gx correct gx uh, right here gx equals to x square minus 3 so does this have an inverse from here you should know that this is a many to one function correct so many to one have got no inverse if you're not sure you can use the horizontal line test okay so you got your uh, graph so this one is what this graph is going to be a positive quadratic so it's going to be a smiley face right it's a u-shape so u shape and then the intercept is at negative 3 so negative 3 is here so the u shape is going to be something like this okay something like this so if you use a horizontal line test you cut more than one point okay so from here itself you should know it's a many to one function so because it cuts more than once there is no inverse so that means this this uh, g inverse don't exist there is no inverse so because if it's not if it doesn't even have an inverse it is not a function okay so you can explain in your own words okay you can say g inverse here this one does not exist does not exist therefore it is not a function okay use your own words okay so now question b Question B is asking for find hx if f inverse fx equals to gx. So they give you this f inverse hx equals to gx. Okay, so what you can do is um, you can substitute hx into the f inverse, which means you have to inverse this. Or what you can do another way is you can add a forward function here. Okay, so you see what I just did? I just added a forward function here. So here is another. I have to add both sides. So why am I doing this? Because when you have a forward and inverse together, it will neutralize it. So there is no more f inverse there. So what you have is, you only have hx left. Okay, and then here, here is fx gx. So hx equals to, you're going to substitute gx into fx. So... 1 minus 2 x square minus 3 so you get 1 minus 2 x square plus 6 answer is 7 minus 2 x square all right so done the second part b2 so it's b1 huh? so b2 um find the values of x if gf inverse equals to 1 so g f inverse equals to 1 so they asked to find what again oh x they asked to find x so you just have to substitute the f inverse so we have to find the f inverse first okay let me write down here so we know that f x equals to 1 minus 2 x so if you want to find the f inverse we let f x equals to y so from here we know y um, okay we can write like this x equals to 1 minus y over 2 so this will be your f inverse 1 minus x over 2 okay so we are going to substitute this into the gx so gx is um x square right so 1 okay 1 over 2 wait let me see how we can write this we can write 1 uh, okay 1 minus 1 minus x over 2 square minus 3 equals to 1 okay so we expand this we should get 1 minus x okay I'm not going to expand the top I'm sorry uh, yeah, I'm not going to expand the top because I want to find x right so only the top has x so I'm not going to expand it first so here bottom becomes 4 equals to 3 plus 1 is 4 
So bring the 4 over, you get 16. 1 minus x squared equals to 16. Okay, so I'm going to bring the square over, become square root. So 1 minus x equals to square root 16. So you got two answers actually, plus minus, right? So 1 minus x equals to positive 4. Another one is 1 minus x equals to negative 4. So x equals to 1 minus 4 will be negative 3. Here will be x equals to 5. So you got two answers, negative 3 and 5. Alright?